Hello everyone and welcome back to Penguin Plays Hunter Bind 4 with the Kaiserreich mod. We are back in the German Empire and the Reich's Pact. Last episode, Ukraine tried to break away, so we invaded them. And that may or may not be <laughs> concurrent with current events. I don't know, I recorded this all well in advance, and I'm just hearing about some stuff going on between Russia and the Ukraine in the real world, but Russia in the Ukrainian game. Russia took over a couple of states that I gave them because they had occupied them. So they got Karakov, Sumi, and Shoshka. Meanwhile, we are pulling back out. I've decided to do a couple things. First, I've renamed my paratrooper divisions. So the seventy, no, sixty seventh and sixty eighth. So now it's just you know first, second, and they work so well in taking over Crimea. I'm making a third and fourth, and I'm even making a Ukrainian version because I can use Ukrainian troops, and also I could technically do Wallonian troops. They'll do a Ukrainian regiment and some heavies, some Ukrainian, uh, what are they called? Hilf Division is, I believe it's something along the lines of like Auxiliary Division, the Hiwis. But that's still going to require my equipment, so it's going to take a while. And we still have the Schusserung Divisions in the back. That'll be fine. Also, I have made a couple changes to Navy. I'm sending over a fleet for the Black Sea. They can get in there. It's just going to be made up of some battle cruisers and some 20 of those early destroyers just to have things, something over there. Not entirely sure why we would need it, just in case. Just because, you know, we took over Crimea, annexed it from the Ukrainians for breaking away from us. So you might as well. Japan. Oh no. Oh no. Philippines. Okay, good. I thought the Philippines were inside of the Reichs Pact. I thought we were about to get to war against the Japanese. <laughs> but no, if the Philippines are on their own, I think I helped them in terms of economy at one point. I thought they were a part of the Reichs Pact. But that's something we need to worry about because now, in terms of Reichs Pact, it's just uh, the East Asia. And they have only 15 divisions after being uh, massacred in Indochina. So we got to watch out about that. On the intelligence front, I'm going to make a collaboration government in France. I have zero idea if that does anything or if we'd even get there in time. Australasian Confederation claims Melanesia. Hmm. Well, you can't have it, sir. This army, I need the... An agent turned. Neat. I can get him if I ever get an additional spot open. This is the 1st Division, 1st Regiment. They took, they sustained some serious casualties, and a Dutch operative was captured, who looks exactly the same. Hmm. Funny how that works out. Got a whole bunch of divisions I need to build up. But for the most part, I've turned all of my divisions, converted them into the proper infantry division with support artillery, engineer companies, and logistics companies. But it's going to take a very long time before they can actually get properly kitted out, which is part of the reason why I just train up the reservists. Because reservists just take infantry equipment. I have infantry equipment. I don't need to worry too much about that. Over here, these guys have finally made it. I also sent over some subs. Don't know if I'd ever actually use these guys for anything. But they can just, you know, be out here. They can chill. They can just exist. Guatemala's going to declare war on Honduras. Everybody's at war all the time. Everywhere. In here, I'm refitting. Spending a lot of our resources refitting, huh? Sardom restored, motorized divisions from Middle Africa. Neat. Didn't know they even had enough motors. The Ascari motorized divisions come with their own tank support. Okay, okay. Well, again, just keep joining into here. Eric von Manstein. I have upgraded Heinz Guderian to be a field marshal, so he's now in charge of the attack army. Now in here, the motorized division with panzer support. Yep. Can I do anything about that? Any neat symbol I can give them? Give them a katana? Give them an arrow? Give them a bear? Nah. African, African, something that signifies, in my mind, an African division with tank support. Hmm. No, not really. And their infantry. I could give them, like, a skull. I could give them the rainbow. Now I guess they'll just have to, just have to be, just have to be who they are. 
be who you are. For the most part, everything's fine. The fact that we've lost experience on most of our divisions is going to be annoying, but it is what it is. More passive defense to keep taking out those agents who are stumbling upon us. I know for a fact there's going to be agents from all across the world in Berlin. You guys are perfectly fine. That's a funny thing when it comes to elite divisions, the uh, special op divisions, is the fact that you send them on dangerous missions. Fall of Rome, ooh. That is not good, but at the same time, we don't really want to prop up two Sicilies. I just want to defeat you. Sardinia. Hmm. The PK-2 is done. Which is good. We can reform Middle Europa. Why? Invest in Panzer factories. Yes, I'd like that. I could also do military expansion. Conrad zone. Military research. Modify industrial complex by consumer goods and armor con... Production 20%. Oh my my. I'd like that. Especially since I came in here, I've selected Krupp as the altar, which gave me cheaper tanks. Unfortunately, it didn't affect this self-propelled gun, even though it should. It's a medium self-propelled gun. But whatever. This is the Stug, which means that, ironically, the Stug is more expensive than a Panzer III. Should be the other way around. And yes, this first Stug III is a self-propelled gun instead of an anti-tank platform that just is accurate to how it was in the real world. So I definitely need more of that. And I need more of that. Okay, we're building up those. I think... Really? I need 10? I thought I was good on that. But right now, I mostly just need more Mausers. I need more guns. I need more everything. I need more everything all the time. In here. Just work out. Work out. You guys are all good. You guys sent up some troops up here, because pretty soon the supply depot that I built up here is going to be finished. Very soon, within the next month or so. Missing production equipment. Require equipment is not built, but then it goes away. Okay, so I think that's just inaccurate. And here, Aachen class. Decisions are available. Return to Ukrainian lands. <laughs> no. Assume control of the Middle African Navy. I think they're fine. I think they're perfectly fine. So we've got two Rhinish divisions and two Thuringian divisions. Feng Tian versus Qing. Mean of... Ooh. Dominion of Canada has declared war on the combined syndicates of the United States. Okay, okay. So the Entente is intervening in the American Civil War. Okay. Now it's going to be interesting. Could I... I can't send you an attaché because we don't have enough command power. But yeah, that is... Uh, that's... That's a change. Well, that is different. Up here, can I start anything? Can't infiltrate the civilian. I really want to infiltrate the Navy when it comes to Britain. I want to infiltrate the Navy. Light tank. Oh, I get it. Light tank of type. Right, right, right. See, that's something in here. The infantry division with Panzer support. I selected that tag. But it's fine. It's fine. In that case, I'll just make it generic and make this generic again. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because I wanted to make a separation between support tanks and potential heavy tanks that I might bring out in the future. But if it's going to be a problem for now, I'll just uh, leave it. In the naval world. I want to see, have you guys finished? Almost, almost. Naval research, 1938. Still a while. I could do something with that. I could do something with magnetic mines. Chances of five critical hits or time to research light attack and heavy attack. Yeah, bracket shooting, that sounds good. I want to be more potent in battle than the British and French combined in here. Right, nothing important. I can deploy the Sicherung divisions, but I don't have anything to do with them, so not much of a reason to. I need just a lot more army experience. Civil War in China is ramping up pretty soon, like early 1939 is when I expect the Belt Creek to kick off, so I need to have everything ready for that. So boom, 
You are now built, which means this area is perfectly fine. You and your division. Get up there, please. You can do that now. That will enable us to invade that way. Let's see, my tank arms. No. You're supposed to be my air force. What the air force even up to? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. One thing I could be doing, though, is I could get some trains. And some armor trains. Sounds nice. And I can get the big guns. I really want those big guns. So my tank arm. Still too ahead of time to get those. Guns. Still too ahead of time to get those. But I can get engines. Now we can perfectly easily do that. Also, I am scheduling several planned uh, supply depots there, 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 and there. Just all along the lines with the Russians in case we need to go to war against the Russians. Because even though at the moment we have a non-aggression pact, yeah, we have a non-aggression pact, the Tsardom's been restored. You know, Tsar and Emperor, even though we don't like each other, we fought each other for quite some time. We're still Tsars, and it's still better than being a dang Cindy. In here, yeah, I'm still thinking we need a lot more of those. Need a lot more of those, and then boop, boop. Because we're going to be pushing those out pretty soon now, as well as working on those. Need to keep an eye on my Air Force. All planes that work. Huh, those are like generics. How'd they get in here? All planes that work, you can come on down to Essen. I got some planes here. They're just there to be the scout planes. You just watch out for there. Don't even worry about it, dog. Don't even trip. Here, fighter, fighter. Hmm. And fighter. Anyone who has above standard. Oh, that includes you. You just had, uh... Didn't recognize you because you're a biplane. But everyone else needs to... Work. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Anything else I can do in here? Close air support. I can increase you by 50. Bombers are almost to the point where I can increase them by 50 and make it 100. Naval bombers, I can make 50 more naval bombers. Fighters are low. I got 20... I got 20 of these that I can build. Just want to make as many fighter groups as I can. So 66 fighters there. That's enough for 50, which is enough to supply my, yeah, these forces. I want to give them planes. Oh no, I put too many planes out here. Oh no. You, half of you go there. You two go to the, close to the front lines. Egypt has declared war on Jerusalem. Oh no. Which has been, therefore, taken over by the Ottomans. But that now means that the Ottomans are at war against Iran. Desert in the war. Najd, Egypt. Oh, they're going to have a bad time. And Armenia. They're going to have a bad time in the desert. As for us, we're building up... Hmm... Kind of want some more building on that. Need that to have some more. We're refit. I'm still refitting. We're still building up. I'm more concerned about refitting what I currently have than I am concerned with uh, building up a bigger navy. Because I already have a big navy. It's all about utilizing what I already have. These two can hold. You can hold. Hold and head back to base. This fleet is chilling. And this fleet is actually perfectly fine. I think I did that to make sure that the Air Force could train. Because they can't train within base for some reason. No, you can hold too. And you will just keep going until you're done. Perfectly fine there. We got the Panzer research. I am looking to get some military expansionism. I am, in a literal sense, expanding my navy. Here, war economy is too low. We're less than a million manpower, so we can go for an extensive conscription before the war kicks off. Here, strong army. Like it. Love it. Want some more of it. 
Uh, outside of that... Actually, I want to check out these divisions. What are you up to? Do you actually need support? Yeah, you do. Hmm. The fall of Dictoroito. Yemen has joined the odd. Yemen has signed a peace to... Oh, yeah, because Yemen has switched sides. Things are not looking good. The Cairo Pact. The Cairo Practors. They actually don't include the Republic of Iran, but Iran doesn't look like it's going to fall anytime soon. And there's this massive border for the Ottomans to defend. It's a real pain. You have to take one of them out very quickly or you're really stuck. Cyprus? Claire 4? Oh no, everything's falling apart. Was Albania always there? It doesn't look right. Infiltrate. Let's see, who is not in London? It's this guy. And this guy are not in London. They can go take care of that. Infiltrate the administration of Great Britain. Or Union of Britain. In here. Syndicates are not having a good time. Who is actually at war? Is it just Canada? No, it's the whole of the Ant. It's wholly on town except for New England. If New England were to join, New York would definitely fall. And with Detroit having fallen. Let's see, they broke through there. They're breaking through North Dakota. Ah, uh, now might be a good time to help out the Union States. Oh, wait, what? Oh my, an invasion from the Mexicans against the entirety of the Entente with, you're not in the Entente, you're just at war with them. And you're, oh <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, now would be a very bad time to send support to the American Union State. I would maybe want to support the United States of America under Lang, whoever that was. More people are fighting. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, Santa America has declared war on the Ottomans. Ottomans aren't having a good time. Ottoman, I could send them volunteers, three divisions. Hmm. That might not be a bad plan. Try to keep them alive. But who would I send? I wouldn't want to send divisions that I already have. Maybe I'd want to send some cavalry, because cavalry is actually pretty good in, you know, this area where it's going to be very long, open stretches of land. They might not get supplies easily. <clears throat> Thinking that might be a good idea. But then who would I send? Who would I send? I could send in my paratroopers. Probably not the best idea. Uh, some of these troops. I can send them under von Gulitz von. How about von Langerhoven? Langerhoven. You would like to send you volunteers under Langerhoven with air support. Try to fight them back. Over here. I don't really care too much about the Kingdom of Spain. Just the fact that I have a attache there is giving me passive support. In here. Hmm, running out of things to build. Okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking I want more type 2s. Diabetes? No, you need that much. You need that much, uh-huh. I'm thinking maybe more... More, another Aachen, another that, and another that. Two on the Aachen, two there, two there. I like splitting them up like this, and then, yep. Yeah, that's gotten through all of it. Maybe put an extra one in there so that one finishes up already. Ottomans are on the way. I can send over 300 planes of some type. So I can send one of these, a fighter. I could send... Hmm... You're coming up in the world. I could send a bomber. Bomber group. And I could send... Uh, I could send strategic bombers to get some experience before the main war. Don't want to risk too much. You... You guys are actually... Ah, I see. I'll send one of you, because you're not fighters. You're close air support. Yeah, I'll do that. And then my troops will arrive where exactly? I'm not sure where they will arrive, but I'd like to fight in the Levant. 
Sweden petitions to join the Reichspact. Welcome to the fight, my Swedish brothers. Well, that actually helping, helps things out, because now we have a whole line against the Norwegians, which makes me want to um, put out whatever troops I can here. 12 at a time. Let's see how many come out. 10. Go down to nothing. 10 divisions. No, what? Boop. I want 10 divisions under this army. This one can be under von Bloomberg. And they will take over the position here on the Norwegian Swedish border. While you extend your line out to here. Now, let me see the situation in terms of construction. Because we got. Uh huh, uh huh, bam. Connect that railroad up there. And then what is the situation on this side? They only ha they have a situation at Narvik and one there. But not a whole lot else. I think that'll be fine. They can make a larger line. Wait, what happened? What? These are the eastern troops. These are the forces up in the north. Might even be good to make a Scandinavian theater. Scandinavian theater. That'll be fine. Our finest hour. <laughs> no troops arrived yet. They have not. Reviewing some U-boats. Kaiserreich economic plan. Finally, three years after Black Monday, our economy is slowly recovering. This is the time we invest in more further than national interests. Invest in our Heimat for civilian factories and gain space stability. Invest in our colonies in a civilian factory and colonial possessions. Invest in our sphere of influence. Invest in our economic cooperation plan with our neighbors for Denmark. Well, Sashvig Holstein and Hanover. Hmm. Invest in our Heimat. Brandenburg. Hmm. Yes, I would want this one. Invest in ourselves. Please and thank you. In here, I could... Got export focus. I'm perfectly happy with that. Chief of Staff. I could go for some... This is more just benefits. In here, indirect approach. Hmm. I could get a industrial factory concern for factory speed. Industrial research, convenient... Ooh, I like this one. I like the resource gain efficiency and production efficiency cap. I really like that one. I'm going to take it so we can get more an efficiency cap. That's pretty much like an entire new tech right there. You guys be chilling. Syria has joined the... Oh, no. Syria. Okay, they just made a little Syria. Got it. My troops still haven't arrived. My planes are there, though. Too many planes. You... You don't need to be there because you can actually come from a different direction. Somewhere else. Hmm. A Damascus Revolt. That's a lot of troops. Where are my troops in this situation? I definitely remember. There they are. Now, we can do a couple things. We can, I, we can take over Smyrna and watch out for that attack there. In here, we've done the military expansionism, modern art of war, new doctrine. Let's reactivate the Ludendorff line because that very well could be a war very soon. And I see they have more troops stacked up on the borders. So building that up is useful. I don't have any border here. So I need to build that up. And how? I don't think that actually borders them yet. Yeah. Need to build that up, but I have so many other things in construction. Not necessarily need all these. Oh no, Republic of Italy is definitely going to win their war. Unless they can hold a defense in Sicily. If two Sicilies can hold one Sicily, that would be at least some Sicily. You go ahead and bomb this way for now. And you guys, you're getting close. Updated production, still just the Aachen class, blah blah blah. Tell me, tell me something I don't know. Oh, they already took it. <laughs> all that, all that time. Here, Homs, Beirut. Absolutely get in here. 
you keep on bombing. And if you don't bomb, also do some other types of bombing. In here, can I? Hmm. Wish I could pull out to somewhere else. Yeah. Just hold the Beirut line. We could get an attack going on this mountain outside of Damascus. But I would like to get some points in it first. Ottoman volunteers. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Deploy troops. It's just those Chisarung divisions. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, things are looking good up here. We'll be able to invade them just fine up here. Similar situation. I would take here, here, and here. Because that's what's necessary. You can get Gorilla Fighter. Everything's looking up. You, you don't like your position. Gorilla Fighter. Not really that important. Oh, hey, and I have enough points, but I don't have enough political power to get another attaché. Be nice if I could. It would be nice if all oh, the French Republic have invaded Georgia and South Carolina. Yeah, I don't, I'm glad that the Canadians have attacked the syndicates. It's going to be interesting to see what they choose. Also, it would be uh, not good if I failed to mention this. I did use the state transfer tool to clean up the borders here in Hungary. They used to control the western parts of Transylvania and Transcarpathia still, and it looked weird. It looked like, looked like an A shape. So instead, I just changed it around. 1939. Okay. 1939 for infantry. Either machine tools or getting a bonus on our guns. I would like the Staubgewehr Model 40 for guns. That is very important to me. And in here, our tank divisions are almost done. You get high priority for infantry equipment. That's important. In here, things are coming up real fast. Need some new plans. Armed incidents in Metz. I think this might be the start of it. <clears throat> we need to get ready right now. As Germany celebrates the 20th anniversary of the victory of the reunion of all Lothringian to the Reich, the festivities take place in the city of Metz have been tarnished by violent demonstrations of the French-speaking minority who never fully integrated to our empire and is still complaining about the economic discrimination and social rep repression. As the military parade and speeches of the Stadthard were met in insults and catcalls from the populace, the demonstration has worsened and turned into a riot. Fisher buildings have been attacked and the armed protesters killing two policemen and a number of German-speaking civilians have been assaulted by the mob. Even if the police have regained control of the streets and many, uh, and many demonstrators, including French-speaking no, French militant leaders, have been put under arrest. The situation is still extremely tense. Mine workers from the... French-speaking Lothringian have went on strike and discontent is fueled by French propaganda in Berlin, where the opin public opinion falls off for drastic measures. The cabinet is put about to put Lothringian under military administration until law and order is restored. So, coming to France doesn't like us. There's the city of Metz here, which has a lot of our troops in it. In here, again, let's make another round of seeing what we can do here. Oh, plenty of fighters. So I can bring this up to a 50, set them on, and here I can set this up to 50, and I can set one of these, no, not one of you, one of these up to 50. These are the forces that I leave in the back lines in order to set an example. Yes. I need them behind the lines in order. Oh no, the Ottoman Empire is not having a good time. It is not having a good time at all. Right there, if we can make an attack on Damascus, so we have to take this hill first. Improved engines from the tank corps. Now it's 1939. 100% bonus on 1940. I do like that. Let's get that so we can get some improved Panzer IVs, because I like to have Panzer IVs on that chassis instead of the other chassis. Reactive force, reactivate the Ludendorff line. Over the Meuse and far away. Or Bastion for the Ardennes. Fortify the Rhineland. We can get synthetic rubber. The Conrad Zone. For electronics, that would be good. We could do more stuff with Mill Europa. Independent Luftwaffe or keep the Fliegertruppe. Hmm. 
Bomber Doctrine. More air bases. Trying to look around to see what each one would do. Superior tactics for infantry tactics. Recognize new textbooks. Remove victors of the Veil Creek. Oh, that would be very important. Maneuvers in Alsace Lorraine. I kind of want to get down that way. Modern Art of War or New Doctrine? Land Doctrine, Land Doctrine. Army Experience. <clears throat> Klauswitz. Art of War or New Doctrine. Well, we would get Armored Breakthrough versus Squad Tactics. I have to say we go for a New Doctrine, but I will leave that here. We're going to most likely get into the war in the next episode. Let's look around, make sure everything's okay. 100 days until we can get that collaboration government. Though I do not think we'll be so lucky as to actually be able to use it easily. <clears throat> With that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!